Joining me now is the French journalist and commentator Nabila Hamdani. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. So why is this um, criminal trial significant? Well, it's very significant indeed because, uh, as the report showed, uh, uh, President Chirac will be facing criminal charges uh, next year uh, over a month from uh, March uh, to April 2011. And what it means it is uh, that it essentially the uh, judiciary is having a go at the executive. Uh, traditionally in France, the uh, judiciary is very um, uh, respectful and indeed subservient towards the executive. And it doesn't like to reprimand politicians as uh, happened during the expenses scandal in Britain, for example. And it is a very uh, serious uh, threat that uh, former President Jacques Chirac is facing as he uh, might uh, face uh, up to 10 years in prison and a fine of 150,000 euros. Uh, now explain to us how this, the deal that he's made with, um, with the city of Paris, I mean, how does that affect the, the, the court case that, that we expect to go ahead? Well, in my opinion, this highlights the farce of the situation, really, as a pre a former President Chirac has now offered to uh, refund uh, the Paris City Hall uh, for over two uh, million uh, euros for the um, uh, f false uh, job, the allegations over the false job contracts, and um, it might uh, uh, seem, uh, it might seem, it may be seen as a, a settlement, as it has been uh, put forward. But in my opinion, it's bribery. It is absolutely farcical to uh, uh, offer a money compensation if you are so confident about your innocence. I just, just need to make the point, I suppose, that um, Jean Veil, who's uh, Chirac's lawyer, has said that that settlement wasn't admission, an admission of guilt. But just to move on to the, the way this is all perceived in France, I mean, are people on the streets particularly interested in, in whether Chirac goes on? goes to court? I think there's a growing interest uh, in the Chirac uh, uh, trial uh, um, because uh, Sarkozy uh, himself is now involved in a uh, sleaze a scandal. So the fact that these two uh, allegations run in parallel uh, triggers interest uh, in the French public. Having said that, there is a tradition in France uh, the, where the French press, uh, whereby the French press is um, respectful towards the position of or the institution of the presidency and is not very uh, challenging or uh, ready to expose any political uh, scandal. One thing I've seen sort of reported that apparently uh, Jacques Chirac is now sort of saying he's, he's well, reported to be quite depressed about things. That doesn't kind of gel with the Chirac that we, we used to know, who was quite kind of ebullient, wasn't he? I mean, is that, is that likely to be part of his defence or what? Well, the lawyer is uh, now putting the word out that he's uh, feeling quite depressed about uh, the um, prospect of facing trial. And his entourage is also putting the word out in, in the press that he's uh, uh, very uh, low about it. He uh, will be 78 years old uh, in, at the end of November. And uh, the, um, he, he is perceived as using his health condition to try to perhaps get away with it. OK, thank you very much indeed, Nabila Hamdani. Good to get your thoughts on that. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. You.